I'm Tara with Simple MDM. I'm back with Drew. Glad to be here. This video, we're going to cover deploying apps to devices and profiles. That sounds easy. It is. <laughs> but before we deploy apps, we're going to talk about adding them to the catalog. Before I can do anything, app has to be in the catalog. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm already here. But if I weren't here, I'd go to apps and media and catalog. click on catalog. Okay, easy. Yeah. First thing to know, uh, VPP apps, so those are your Apple Business Manager apps, they're automatically going to appear here. You can add other apps, so like shared apps, uh, custom apps, and the way that you would add those apps is, uh, you guessed it, add app. Add app. Right here. Okay. So if I wanted to add a shared app, I would just click on here and then just add it. It would so, walk me through it and I'd know it too. Yeah, okay. super easy. But once you've added them, they will appear here in the catalog. Okay. We're going to now go to the group that we made for you and let's send out some apps. Should okay. We? Let's do my dynamic group that we made. Okay. I believe it was called Party House. Drew's yes, Party because, House. Because the apps okay. are coming and going. Okay. Perfect. So let's look at our group now. If we click over here up to apps and we click down here. This makes sense. Okay. Here are all our beautiful apps and it will tell you the type right here. Apple Store, Shared. If I keep scrolling, I'll see Custom down here. And this is everything we just talked about from, this is from the, the catalog. catalog. Okay. Exactly. I do have one I want to show you, though, because I, I like this one. Uh, given our security concerns as of late, you know, just the world and everything, we want to do this password manager one. So let's click on it, and I'll show you some more stuff. This is how you unassign it. Uh, I just want to hit unassign. Okay. okay. So this one password manager, um, let's look at the version. This one is latest. Some applications will give you different versions. So you could um, lock into a version. Yeah, and that's called version pinning. I want to keep this one on the latest version. So so that's particularly important for browsers that update every five seconds. So I would want to click this and make sure I'm always going to stay on the latest. Okay. Or uh, can you think of a, an application, you're an editor, <laughs> you might be attached to a certain version of Premiere that right. you love, right, right? right? This would allow you that granularity to pick that version and say, I want to stay on that version. And that's the one that we're using and all my editors are on the same one. Exactly. Okay, and I then like you would make that a group for those editors editor group, click premiere version, whatever that version is, version pinning pinning will allow you to stay on okay. that version for that particular group. And that group will be dynamic, right? Right. It'll keep that group. Very handy. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So this one is a dynamic group. Once I hit review and then save, it is going to deploy this application immediately. Tell me about the, the licenses and the, and the types that I see there. Okay, this is, so this is the VPP, right? When okay, you see so Apple Store. we got Store. it from Apple Store. Yep, we those are the ones that, that automatically so show up. See that? Platform is iOS or OS. Uh, licenses is is available from, the, from Apple Business Manager. Install method, it's going to push out from Simple MDM. From MDM, okay. Exactly. That's pretty much it. Uh, should we look at profiles? Yeah, profiles are the kind of the configuration things that, that you do. Yep, so let's click on, config. you called it, configuration. So okay. think about it, I'm going to change... The behavior of my devices. So Simple MDM supports custom configurations or native configurations. Um, and there are so many. Look how many there are. A hundred. <laughs> so pretty much anything you want to do, you can do. So you come from education. So tell me something that students tend to do. Uh, there's always a lot of wasting time on websites that you know yeah. that, so if so there's a probably a configuration to like block a website yes yes okay, okay. let's let, you know what let's come up here and just type block yeah oh, there's one that's already there. youtube so big time waster right yeah. so let's click in here and just see what it does um so this is going to be called a web filter and look block youtube exactly what you just said it does it. uh deny list so this is just going to deny a web page and here's the web page this url will be blocked this one actually works for os ios ipad if i wanted to click tvos it'll work for that as well and then i would save it so uh what i would do because i want to make it easy is i would come up here to actions and i would just clone this one oh, as a little one at the end Yep, oh, like it just made a different one. So if we come back down to profiles, I can just search for block because I don't want to recreate the wheel because I just don't want to. Uh, and then I can just call this Drew is mean. <laughs> you got you got to keep people in line. That's all right. Uh, and can tell me something else that they oh, wasted time. Uh, like maybe a TikTok. Oh, yeah. TikTok, big one, right? And I would change the URL uh, and then let's save this one. Okay. Uh, so we just made a... A new profile yep, that we can send profile. to my party house group. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Now, just like with apps, I'm going to navigate back to the group and I'll assign the profile to the group. Okay? okay. So let's come back to groups. That makes sense. So like in the catalog, we set some things up. In the profile, we set some things up. But when we want to send them, 
and assign them. We're doing it all in the group section. Exactly. So yeah. let's find Drew's party house. Um, Excellent. Let's expand it out. So remember, apps is where we signed the apps. Now let's go to the profiles. Looks very similar. Very this similar. Time. Here's assign profiles. So um, remember, this was Black YouTube. So we can assign multiple profiles from here if we want. And let's just search for Drew because we called yours Drew. Drew's mean. Drew's mean. So, so that's also there. <laughs> right. Now, when we assign this, this, this will block YouTube and TikTok. The easiest way to do this would actually be to assign multiple ones at once or build a master one of a bunch of ones that you want. All, to the, all the profile things I exactly. want. So it could be things. What are some other things besides blocking things? Would it be like a network? And here's an email oh, one. Okay. Here's a, re a restriction one, a password requirement one. So you can build up as many as you want, an OS update one. So just look through them, um, make one for yeah. you. But like I said, I wouldn't recreate the wheel because there's so many native ones already built for you. Uh, I would just clone it and customize it to my environment. Very easy. That would be the yeah. easiest way. Yeah. Save changes. And now this profile is blocking TikTok for your group. Got it. And if I wanted to do multiple, I would go into Drew is Mean and add a list of all the sites. Yep, that I you could to block. block multiple URLs on that one thing. And then again, just like the application, if I wanted to unassign this, I put a checkbox and I would hit unassign. And now it is unassigned from your group after I hit review, save changes. Open that thing wide up. Mm -hmm. Drew is no longer mean. Drew is no longer mean. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> so pretty easy, right? Yeah, that's way easy. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us, Drew. And thanks for watching. I'm Tara for Simple MDM. And I'm Drew. Thanks a lot.